Welcome back to Eurocoded. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the bending resistance of a doubly reinforced concrete beam in accordance with Eurocode 2. Here we have our section. Section breadth is B and our effective depth is D. Bottom reinforcement is AS. Our top reinforcement is A S. And the depth to the top reinforcement is D dash. Then we have our forces and stress blocks here and we have our strains diagram here. If all reinforcement yields then for equilibrium we can write Fc plus F dash S is equal to fs this is fc and this is f dash s and this is fs so when we look at equilibrium these two when you add these two the value should be equal to this then we can write fc is equal to fav times b times x then we can write f dash s is equal to f y k over gamma s times a dash s same as f dash s we can write f s is equal to f y k over gamma s times a s s is the area of tensile reinforcement and a dash s is the area of compression reinforcement so for equilibrium we can write f a v times b times x plus f y k over gamma s times a dash s is equal to f y k over gamma s times a s then we can rearrange this equation and write f a v times b times x is equal to f y k over gamma s times a s minus f y k over gamma s times a dash s that is equal to f y k over gamma s brackets a s minus a dash s if we rearrange this equation again we can write x is equal to f y k over gamma s times a s minus a dash s over f a v times b we derive this equation based on the assumption that our reinforcement in fact all of our reinforcement is yielding so we need to undertake a check to make sure that the strain in the bottom reinforcement is sufficient to cause yielding we can use this strains diagram to determine the strain of the bottom reinforcement we can write epsilon s over d minus x is equal to epsilon cu3 over x it is basically comparing these two triangles epsilon s is this so this leg over this distance is equal to this leg over this distance we can rearrange this equation to get epsilon s which is equal to epsilon cu3 over x times d minus x which is equal to epsilon cu3 times d over x minus 1. We basically took this x inside the brackets. To ensure yielding of bottom reinforcement, this epsilon s should be bigger than or equal to yield strain of reinforcement. Yield strain of reinforcement can be written as 
if y k over gamma s e s then if we plug this value into this equation we can write epsilon c u 3 times d over x minus 1 should be bigger than or equal to f y k over gamma s e s let's rearrange this equation so we can write d over x minus 1 should be bigger than or equal to f y k over gamma s e s times 1 over epsilon c u 3 then we can write d over x should be bigger than or equal to f y k over gamma s e s epsilon c u 3 plus 1 then we can write x over d should be bigger than or equal to 1 over f y k over gamma s e s epsilon c u 3 plus 1. Then we also need to undertake a check to make sure the compression reinforcement is also yielding. So to check the strain in top reinforcement, we can look at the strains diagram again and we can write epsilon dash s over x minus d dash is equal to epsilon cu3 over x so we are looking at this triangle and this smaller triangle so we are dividing this small leg by this distance and this leg by x this distance is basically equal to x minus d dash we can rewrite this as epsilon dash s is equal to epsilon cu3 over x times x minus d dash which can be rewritten as epsilon cu3 times 1 minus d dash over x basically we took this x inside the bracket to ensure yielding we need to make sure epsilon dash s is bigger than the yield strain of reinforcement. This is equal to f y k over gamma s times e s. So we can write epsilon c u 3 times 1 minus d dash x should be bigger than or equal to f y k over gamma s e s let's rearrange this equation 1 minus d dash over x should be bigger than or equal to f y k over gamma s e s times 1 over epsilon c u 3 if we rearrange this again we can write d dash over x should be bigger than or equal to 1 minus f y k over gamma s e s epsilon c u 3 if we rearrange this again we can write x over d dash should be bigger than or equal to 1 over 1 minus f y k over gamma s e s epsilon c u 3 so if we can satisfy this for our bottom reinforcement and if we can satisfy this for our top reinforcement then we can take moments about any point and calculate the bending resistance of our doubly reinforced concrete beam if you take moments about this point we can write MRD which is the bending resistance of our concrete section is equal to FS times D FS is this force and the lever arm is D 
minus f c times beta times x f c is this force and our lever arm is beta x minus f dash s times d dash f s dash is this force and our lever arm is d dash here if all of the reinforcement doesn't yield then strain compatibility method must be used to calculate the ultimate moment resistance we have done a video to calculate the bending resistance of a reinforced concrete t-beam using strain compatibility method i will put the link in the description box below so you can check it out thank you for watching the video if you like the video please like the video and if you haven't already subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel